press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Today, I am going to solve the problem is based on the fluctuous stress. So let us read the question. So there is an equation on the display here. A machine component is subjected to an fluctual stress which fluctuates between 300 mega Newton to minus 150 mega Newton per meter square. It means that there is a one machine component. So let us take the machine component as a bar which is fluctuating from 300 mega Newton per meter square to the minus 150 mega Newton per meter square means this is a maximum stress and this is as minimum stress so here the stresses are fluctuating okay so it means that there is a sigma 1 as maximum that I will take as 300 mega Newton per meter square and sigma 2 will be the minimum that value will be minus 150 mega Newton per meter square and generally the unit of stress it will be Newton per mm square so no need of conversion here after that we need to calculate what is the minimum ultimate strength it means that Sigma u we need to calculate for this problem so according to there are two methods which have been mentioned here one is modified Goodman relationship okay so according to the Goodman relation we need to calculate the Sigma u and also by using Soderberg equation relation you have to calculate the same ultimate strength okay so the value of the ultimate strength it will be differ for the Goodman and for the Soderberg now some conditions are given in this question taking yield strength so yield strength will denote as Sigma e is equal to that is 0 0.55 into an ultimate strength so this is a one condition and second condition is where the endurance strength or endurance strength that is sigma sorry the first condition is yield strength so that will be sigma y yield will be denoted with sigma y and for the endurance strength that is sigma e is equal to 0 0.5 into ultimate strength okay after that there is a factor of safety that is fos so that is given as 2 okay now in the solution is so either in this type of problems in the fluctuating uh, strength problems where the either it may be given the loads which may be fluctuating or sometimes the torque may be fluctuating sometimes the stress it may be fluctuates okay so we need to calculate the sigma for the given value okay because for the Goodman and Soderberg equation there is an sigma m and there is an sigma v so what you mean by sigma m sigma m is nothing but it is an a mean stress so the mean stress is equal to the sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 it will be mean stress equation and for the variable sigma v that is variable is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 so for sig uh, this sigma m and sigma v it will be used in the Soderberg and Goodman equation so for this we need to calculate sigma m so for sigma m there is an sigma 1 plus sigma 2 so if even the there is an force you have to convert that force into sigma okay so you have to calculate the sigma first so now I will calculate what is the value of sigma m sigma 1 m is equal to 300 plus the sigma 2 value is minus 150 divided by 2 so 300 minus 150 it becomes again 150 divided by 2 so you will get 75 mega Newton per meter square the unit again it will be same for stress so no need of conversion and sigma v is equal to sigma 1 that is 300 
minus of minus 150 so it becomes n plus divided by 2 so total it becomes 450 divided by 2 225 mega newton per meter square so we got sigma m and sigma p now i will go for the first methods that is by using goodman relationship so in the goodman relationship i will write the equation 1 by factor of safety is equal to sigma m divided by sigma u plus sigma v divided by sigma e so this is the equation for the goodman and for soderberg simultaneously i will write for this soderberg also so that is 1 by fs is equal to 1 by sorry sigma m by sigma y plus sigma v by sigma e okay so what is the difference in these two equation the difference is that in goodman relationship he will derive based on the ultimate strength so there will be an ultimate strength okay so this is an, uh, very important for the soderberg he will derive based on the yield strength okay sigma y so this is a difference in both the cases now i will substitute the value of all the equations 1 by factor of safety is 2 is equal to sigma m value is 75 divided by ultimate strength ultimate strength we have we need to calculate the ultimate strength so i will keep as it is plus sigma v value we obtained as 225 divided by sigma e so sigma e that is the condition where sigma e is equal to 0 0.5 into sigma u so that i have to take 0 0.5 into sigma u okay so now here there is a only one unknown value that is sigma u so by using the by making the mathematical knowledge calculate the sigma u okay you can take the common and you can make the uh, multiplication so you will get the sigma u value as 1050 mega newton per meter square i have not converted the stress value anywhere okay so the unit become continue and similarly we'll go for calculating the sigma u using soderberg so again 1 by 2 that is factor of safety divided by sigma m is 75 divided by sigma y so sigma y is nothing but that is an yield strength so for the yield strength we have the another condition 0 0.55 into ultimate strength so i will write 0 0.55 into sigma u plus sig next sigma v that is 225 divided by sigma e so what is the value of sigma e so sigma e is also again 0 0.5 into sigma u so 0 0.5 into sigma u so now in this equation also we have two unknown value that is sigma u and sigma u at both sides so you can take the common of sigma u and you can get the value of sigma u that is 1172 will be the your result okay so now according to this order bar we obtained 1172 mega newton per meter square and according to the yield uh, goodman relation we obtained 1050 mega newton per meter square so thank you for watching